Let's talk about how do we keep in touch with our current customers. As you know, it is no easy thing to get new customers in the restaurant business.、Um, everybody already has their needs met. For instance, they already have a go-to Mexican place. They already have a go-to pizzeria. They go to or a burger joint. It doesn't matter. And you want to convert these customers, these people out who live in your community, into three to five mile radius of your town, to become your customers. We have a lot of different channels and different things that we do marketing-wise, right, to get people to come into our restaurant. Now the question is, in order to maximize that, we got to bring them back in again and again and again. And the way to do that is we need to be in touch, keep in touch with them, and that is what we're talking about. Today, this is Making Dough Show, where we are obsessed with helping you grow your restaurant sales and own a profitable restaurant that does not own you. You can find us on YouTube, on the all the podcast platforms, on Instagram as well. So, if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss the following shows that are coming up. All right, here are the two problems we have going on with our customers. Right.、Um, once they come to our restaurant and they enjoy a delicious meal at your restaurant, after all the efforts and all the marketing you did to get them to come in, here is what happens. First,、uh, they again. This is after they come in. I'm telling you. But overall, when it comes to people in your town, there are two things that are going on. Right. One is that they may not know you. They don't know that you exist. Right. So the first. Part is that they don't know you, which we got to do a lot of things to make sure they know us. The next part is that maybe they have been to our restaurant. But they forgot about us, and that's where keeping in touch comes in, which is very valuable to make sure that we're top of mind, that they do not easily forget about us. Do you think it's easy for them to forget about us、uh, or not? In this busy, busy world, friend. So just focusing on getting new customers is not going to be efficient. You're you're not maximizing all the tools and your efforts、um, in doing your best to get new customers, whether it's Facebook ads or you sending mailers, which is extremely expensive. If you're doing that, right?、Um, I don't know what are all the efforts you do to bring in new customers. You must have a strategy in place to bring them back in again and again. So, as we talked about, everybody's busy. They got their jobs, they got their families, they got to drop their kids off at the karate class or the swim class or whatever. Nobody's got time. They're not going to remember you. So, it is important for us to have a strategy in place to be top of mind. So, some of the Common ways、uh, and tools that we have available to us as restaurant owners and managers, in order to be top of mind, is email marketing and text message marketing, social media posts. And by that, I'm referring to、um, organic side of it. So, for instance, with the email marketing,、um, it's a matter of you getting their contact information, their email address, and send them emails weekly. And giving them a reason to come back, right? You have text message marketing. Same. You've got to grow your database, having folks to opt in to your、uh, text message database, and give them a reason to come back again and again every single week. We talk about that、uh, further as well down the road. Now, social media. We're referring to the organic side, where you know you have. Done a lot of effort in getting people to follow you on Instagram and or like you on Facebook and what have you. And、uh, again, you want them to. Whenever you post on social, you're hoping that they see your posts, right? That is the part with the organic. And I don't need to tell you that the organic reach is extremely low. So those are some of the common ways that we're going to talk about.、It. We're going to compare the cost, companies that are out there, the open rate, and the average ROI. I'm going to share with you our experience and the results we're getting. And I would love to hear the results you yourself are getting、um, in using these tools. I want to know if you're using these tools at all or not. And the results you're getting,、um, and、uh, celebrated with you. Hopefully, you're getting good results. So, be sure to send us an email to makingdoughshow at gmail dot com. You can always go to our website, scroll all the way down, and submit your comments and questions as well on the website. Now, back to the show.、Um, first, I want to talk about email marketing. It's been around for a while. I want to tell you that, for instance, for us、uh, currently, we have in our loyalty rewards program thing, we have around eleven thousand and four hundred email addresses、um, in our. Our thing, and I use currently Mailchimp. All of them are good. Mailchimp, Drip, GetResponse, Aweber, iContact. There are many of them that companies that offer 
uh, email marketing platforms that uh, you can utilize as a business, you need to use a third party platform. You cannot be emailing people one-on-one. And the reason is that as a business, you need to make sure that, I mean, that's just part of it, right? People are able to opt out of your promotional emails that, you know, there must be an unsubscribe thing button. um, And that's part of the email marketing. You need to use a third party platform. So currently we pay about $110 a month to use MailChimp. Uh, Again, that's the number of our contacts is about 11,400 people. The open rate that currently we get is around 15 to 20 people. That adds to be around 6,840 people a month. Okay, so I'm saying about 20% open rate um, of the 11,000 some odds every week. So per month, the number of people that see my emails, as in they open it and they read it, right? So we email over 40,000 people, but how many people do actually see our emails and open it is around 8,000, I'm sorry, 6,840 people. And so if I were to kind of divide the cost and whatever, um, you can see that the way to, to see that how many, the cost that how it's making sense for you is that I'm paying like $110 a month for this. And if I were to divide it by the 6,840 people, that counts about, I'm going to say 0.016 um, cents. So that's pretty cheap uh, that would be able to pay and get in front of our customers. Next, I want to talk to you about an average ROI, which it was kind of hard to put in. One of the things that happens in order to know the ROI of the tool you're using, you need to have it available to do. So, right, for instance, you know, for our email marketing, which we send out every single week, and we've done that in the last year consistently every single week. We've not missed a week in the last year, which uh, I'm pretty proud because um, it's a lot of work. So it is, it is a lot of work. And... Um, I had to learn to use a system in which I just map it out for the quarter and then we kind of fill in the blanks and stuff, which I can talk about in the future. But currently it takes about an hour to put together every single week to send out. And I'm pretty happy with the results I'm getting, to be honest. I personally think that you must, uh, as a restaurant owner, you need thousands of customers every single month. So it's not to say that, oh, one marketing tool is good enough you need to do email marketing you need to do text message marketing you need to use Facebook ads you need to use a combination of all of these and use them masterfully to get the most result next I'm going to talk to you about text message marketing Uh, in our text message marketing interestingly we've been doing that for five years as well since you know we opened our restaurants so we currently have a sign in our restaurant sometimes I'll show you um, where people get to opt in and sign up for our text messaging um, system to receive weekly texts from us. Currently, we have around 4,500 phone numbers in our system. And we send a text message every single week on Fridays around 4 p.m. Between like 3.45 to 4 p.m. is a text that goes out. And we've done that again for years. Very effective. And what happens with... Uh, text message marketing and the beauty of it is the open rate is around 98%. If you think about it, you yourself, how many unread emails do you have versus how many unread text messages you have, right? Whenever you receive an email, how immediate is it before you see it versus a text message that you receive, obviously it dings. And so you hear that, um, you're immediately notified no matter what when you receive a text message and we have used text message marketing for years so i'm going to go over some of the numbers so the cost is so 4500 phone numbers the cost is about 250 dollars a month which is less than 10 dollars a day and we so if you just do the math uh times four so per month we send around 18,000 text message a month so that is not too bad. So if it's a 98% open rate, right, it's coming out to be around um, 17,000 people or more see our text message every single month. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad at all. 
and that has been very effective for us. So in the next show, I'm going to share with you a little bit in the future coming up shows about more about text message marketing and the ROI. I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you behind the scene. I'm going to show you our POS system. We use like a discount button specifically for the combo deals we send out. And I can show you how many they get redeemed every single week and the profitability associated with it, which I'm hoping that you're interested in seeing. And so we've been so successful with text message marketing that we got so many questions asked, people asking, you know, if we'd be willing to do it for their restaurant. Some of these restaurants, obviously, are not in our town. So we're like, yeah, not too bad. We can do that for them. We have a system that, again, map out for the whole quarter. It takes like an hour. We set it up for the quarter. And every quarter, we simply send those same text messages. Um, again, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, and we got Making Dough Agency, which is a branch of the Making Dough show that um, is making all of this possible for us. Well, we offer text message marketing service. So if you've ever wanted to try it and you never got a chance to doing it, uh, we can help you out. Just let us know. Next is social media. So we have around 5,800 and some odd people on our Facebook page, which is our main um, social media platform. We do have almost 2,000 people on Instagram as well, but our main focus is Facebook. And the reason is majority of our customers, which are a lot of moms and the age group demographic that we serve are on Facebook. You need to observe your demographic, the people you serve, where they are at. So marketers are gonna tell you, Facebook is dead. It is not dead, friend. People are there, right? Um, in fact, the way it is, it's not just our Facebook page. We have Facebook groups locally, which I've talked about many times here on the show, maximizing Facebook groups. They, you know, one of the local ones we have is over 20,000 very active people on their group. These are people in the three to five mile radius of our restaurant, okay? So we are able to post there for free as well, which we share posts from our Facebook page. So. Um, and that is on our case, but companies that obviously do social media for you to be organically uh, reaching your customers, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. You're familiar with that. Open rate is somewhere around 10 to 15 percent. That's why I put 13 percent. So we on our side. We have almost 6,000 followers on Facebook. We get around 700 some odds views per post. So we share one post every single day and we use a third party platform, like a $10 a month we pay for, and we map out our social media for the whole month. We spend one day, um, an hour, we have a photo bank. In other words, it's a Google Drive with loads of photos and videos of everything we do here at the restaurant. You got a really long Google Doc with I don't know, about a hundred different captions and stories about our food, about our events, about all kinds of stuff. And I have a virtual assistant who goes in uh, and just matches a photo with the caption and posts it on our social media. And that way we make sure that we do not miss a day. So ROI, again, it's kind of hard to know. And I do believe that social media is effective and you need to be there. It's just non-negotiable. And obviously the open rate is not where it needs to be. Um, as you know. So again, email is about 20%. Text message marketing open rate is about 97, 98%. And social media open rate or how many people will see it is about 10 to 15% of your followers. That's for Facebook and Instagram. The algorithm is the same. It, it owns owned by the same company. Snapchat, I'm sorry, I do not know. So if you know about it, you want to let me know and you've been very effective with it, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Others is like, um, maybe you do mailers. So I'm going to briefly talk about it. We don't do mailers. We've not done them since the first year we've been in business because it was not making any financial sense for us based on what we tried. So if you're effective with it, would love to hear your thoughts. What are the ROI you are getting? So when it comes to cost, you need to consider also the time it takes. If you're the one, which a lot of times for our restaurant, because I do the marketing, so it's the time that it takes to design a flyer, right? So design it, it needs to be sent to print, uh, the mailing part, which is the stamp and all of that as well, right? So companies that do that, or maybe this print, UPS, every door direct, whatever it is that they mail all of that for you. And I do not know. All I know is it is expensive to get a designer and it is expensive to print and open rate. I don't know. We do throw a lot of our um, mail in the trash. What about you? Do you go through every single mail that you, you receive, you know, or not? Again, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. So I do know that, for instance, uh, we uh, HEB is a very, very 
uh, popular uh, grocery chain in Texas. We had to spend about $600 a month in getting um, uh, a coupon or something for our restaurant in the back of the receipt. Now, it's not the same as a mailer, but to be honest, uh, we, we barely had like 20 redemptions out of that. So that was a very, very expensive experience. I do not go to the mailer route just because you can't pause it. You know, if you put a Facebook ad or if you send a text or an email and it doesn't do well, you can pause it. A lot of these mailer stuff, you are kind of committing to something that you're going to do for the next month or two months. and um, we again don't do any of that so I would say that yes you need to be on social media in terms of posting every single day the ROI is not where it needs to be and I actually have another show where we talk about why it is critical for you to continue to post on social media though the reach is really though the low I mean the reach is really low as I mentioned right you, you don't want your social media pages to look dead it doesn't matter who goes in there or not a lot of people who come check your you know social I'm sorry like your Yelp or Google Plus page coming to check you out they're gonna check your social so you better be posting every single day because you don't want to look dead but the most effective ones are in, in my experience is text message marketing and email marketing when it comes to keeping in touch with your customers to make sure they do not forget about you now there are keys to success that you need to consider first is the consistency it must be done weekly if you're doing it once every few weeks and every 10 days or or, or you just different times of the day different days of the week um, it's it's not going to be you're not going to get the best results right so we again as I mentioned what we do is we send our email and our text message every Friday at 4 p.m. That is what has worked well for us because that's when people are thinking about their weekend. That's when they're thinking about what are they going to do for fun uh, with their family. And uh, they're, they're done with the office, right, wherever they work at. And so receiving a text, that ding uh, of the pizzeria that we got a deal for them and for them to celebrate the, celebrate the weekend has been very effective. It must be done weekly. you got to come up with a system. Right. So as I mentioned, we came up with a quarterly system that I map hours out in a spreadsheet. So the text message has been very, very easy because I got a spreadsheet, the date that it's going to be published and the actual text message, the deal and all of that. So our manager can go in every single week and see what's going to be the deal this week and for him to make sure that we uh, place the food order properly to not uh, obviously run out of stuff. We do tend to run out of cannoli sometimes when what our Feed the Family deal is cannoli. The other one is, again, automation. You want to always use software for automation and map out the next 13 weeks, which is your quarter, and forget it. One of the things that we don't use, um, I feel a lot of times as restaurant owners, is when it comes to marketing, is utilizing automation. A lot of things in the business cannot be automated. Placing the food order, the inventory, I don't know, all kinds of stuff with the staff or customers. Some things can be automated in this business and you must use the third party tools to do that. And you must value your time. And if you can pay just a few hundred dollars and get the ROI again in the next future shows, I'm going to show you uh, behind the scenes of the numbers we get. Again, I'm going to take you behind the scene in our POS system to show you. So your making plan is doing the math. So you may be like, well, actually, I do send emails sometimes, but I don't know what the return on that investment is, right? What's the ROI? Like, uh, I don't know. Do you send uh, emails? Um, yeah. Do you send social media? What is the ROI um, of those tools? Do you send text messages? What is the ROI? Um, you have to be on top of it. Otherwise, we're not being efficient and we got to be making some dough around here, friend. So in the next future show, um, actually, in the next show, we're going to be talking about who uses text message marketing. Hand, hand. Papa John's, Subway, Taco Bell, everybody's doing it. But I'm going to share, share with you how they're doing it. I've been following them, obviously, for years. Uh, I opt into their databases, and uh, I follow and I spy on them. So I'm going to share with you how they're maximizing these tools to make go for uh, these chains and these multi-billion dollar restaurants. If you've never downloaded our ultimate uh, restaurant marketing guide, it is free, friend. You can go to www.com makingdoshow.com and download your free guide. I share with you 52 different ways. Why 52? Because there are 52 weeks in a, in a year and I know you're busy. So one idea per week that should um, get you some momen momentum in growing your sales. Thank you so much for hanging out uh, with me. I hope that you found this uh, show helpful and uh, now it's time to get back to work and make some dough. Bye.